Hi everyone. Um, today I continue with teaching you uh, about the rational horizon diagram and the PZX triangle and how it can be used to find the different aspects of a celestial body's position. So in today's video, we'll be focusing on how to find the geographical position, uh, which is known as GP of a celestial body. Now I'm making this video because in the last video I made, I mentioned about the geographical position and then I got a few questions uh, asking me what exactly is geographical position um, and how should, how can we find it. So I had explained it briefly in my previous videos and today I'm going to explain it again. So hopefully it becomes clearer and uh, to explain it, I'll just use the example of a question uh, and so that you can understand it in more from a practical sense of calculation and how you can do that. All right. So today's question is uh, a vessel is in position 46 degree 5 minutes north and 22 degrees 20 minutes west. Now this is the vessel's position and uh, an observer on this vessel observes a true altitude of a body. Now, of course, the celestial body is not mentioned. It could be sun, moon, star, planet, anything. But the true altitude was 34 degrees, 31 minutes. And this true altitude was observed when it was exactly on the prime vertical west of the meridian. And the question says, calculate the GP of the body. All right. So uh, first I will explain to you what is GP. And then I will show you how to calculate the GP using the rational horizon diagram or the PZX triangle in this case, of course. All right. So what is GP? GP is nothing but the geographical position of a celestial body. That means that uh, if this is the earth, right? If this is the earth, uh, we project the uh, and a person is there on the earth. So the person's position on the earth is known by his or her uh, latitude and uh, longitude. Right now, if we talk about a celestial sphere, a celestial sphere, right, and we project this person onto the celestial sphere here, uh, and we have a celestial body which could be the sun. This is my depiction of the sun. Now, the celestial body's position is not denoted by lat or long, it is not denoted by that. All right, so what do we use? We use the declination of the body declination uh, instead of lat and we use the GHA or the Greenwich R angle instead of the longitude. So this is the altogether GHA and declination make up the geographical position or GP of the body. All right. So just like on the Earth's position, our body is defined by the lat and long on the celestial sphere. It is defined by the geographical position. So that is GP. Now in this question, let's learn how to calculate the geographical position if certain details are given to us, especially if our vessel's position is given, how can we use that to calculate the geographical position of a celestial body in the celestial sphere? To do that, I have to draw the rational horizon diagram again. All right, now of course the circle, it should be a circle. This is not a perfect circle, but we make use of it. Then this is the rational horizon. This is the celestial sphere. So we have north, south and west, east. And then because our latitude is 46 degrees and 5 minutes north, it is a north latitude. I will draw the north pole. Here the north pole is NP will be equal to the latitude. Right. And then we draw the equinoctial. So the equinoctial has to be drawn south of the observer. Now where is observer? Observer is always in the center of the rational horizon diagram observers zenith z that is u in the center of the rational horizon so when i project the observer's position to the celestial sphere that position is the observer zenith and this uh, equinoctial is w q e q is the equinoctial that is the celestial equator all right and uh, now you have the celestial equator you have the observer so here np will be equal to latitude and also z q is equal to the latitude all right. Now, where is uh, what else do we know? Now we know the true altitude of a body, but we know that true altitude only when it is on the prime vertical west of the meridian. All right. So prime vertical west of the meridian means uh, somewhere here. All right. So this is where if it was east of the meridian, I would have drawn this on the east side, but this is on the west of the meridian. All right. So here we have found that that is where X is and that is the celestial body 
and what do we know about the celestial body is that we know its true altitude now what is the true altitude the true altitude that will be wx true altitude wx will be equal to what is given to us is 34 degree and 31 minutes am i right so that is given to us in the question and uh, if we know that then all we have to know is what is zx now what is zx zx is nothing but uh, 90 degrees minus the true altitude now why is it 90 degrees minus the true altitude because every point on the celestial sphere is 90 degrees away from the observer's zenith all right now in this case if you ask me what is prime vertical then prime vertical is nothing but uh, it is a vertical circle passing through the east west points of the observer's rational horizon so that is why i have drawn x there i just thought i'll mention it just in case if you don't know and then i will draw join pole to the equate uh, the celestial body here now of course i will use a different color pen so that so wx here is 34 degrees 31 minutes each point on the rational horizon is 90 degrees from the uh, observer zenith so naturally zx becomes 90 degree minus true altitude which in this case will be 90 degrees minus 34 degrees 31 minutes so that would be i think uh, 90 degrees minus 34 degrees and 31 minutes i work this question out together with you guys so this is 55 degrees and 29 minutes this is your zx and i know pz as well so how do i know pz because i know np correct i know np is equal to the latitude which is equal to uh, 46 degrees and 5 minutes and i know that nz will be equal to 90 degrees because each point on the rational horizon is 90 degrees from the observer's zenith so that is 90 degrees so therefore pz will be equal to 90 degrees minus the latitude which in this case would be 43 degrees 55 minutes right 90 minus latitude will be 43 degrees and 55 minutes so i will call this 43 degrees and 55 minutes now i know two sides at least i need to know one angle because uh, i don't know any angles here uh, but i know that the celestial body is exactly west of the prime vertical angle z will become the 90 degree angle so this will give us a right angle spherical triangle which will help us to use the napier's rules all right so how do i use the napier's rules if i if i want to keep it on the same screen here what will i do is i will draw another circle so Napier's rules, I'm sure you have seen my videos on Napier's rules. If you haven't, then please go and watch my videos on Napier's rules. I've explained it in detail. Uh, this is not the place I will explain it here because then, you know, we are wasting time. So we have Z equals 90 degrees in angle in triangle PZX, PZX triangle. Z is equal to 90 degrees. Then we have PZ here. We have ZX here. Right. And then we have 90 minus X, 90 minus uh, sorry 90 minus p that would be 90 minus p and 90 minus x and then 90 minus uh, the remaining side so we have px all right now px is what we have to find because we have to find the uh, declination of the body so we have to find px all right and then i'll also show you how to find the gh of course uh, that is where the longitude will come into play all right so we have px here and what do we know we know pz and we know zx all right so then it's a simple matter of the application of the napier's rules so how do i do that so we have i'll use a different color pen here so we have cos of the uh, sine of the middle part that is sine of 90 minus px equals cos of the opposites cos of pz and cos of zx all right so if you don't know the napier's rules like i said before please watch my other videos on napier's rules i don't want to uh, go into napier's rules here because that's a separate topic so make sure that you watch those videos all right um, so what do we have here so sine 90 minus px also equals cos of px which i don't know and cos of pz equals 43 degree 55 minutes and cos of zx equals uh so instead of zx i write the write the value so zx is 55 degrees 29 minutes all right and then if i have to solve this uh, i will solve it together with you guys so we have cos of uh, 43 degrees and 55 minutes multiplied by cos of 55 degrees and 29 minutes 
and this will give me cos of px equals 0 0.40818 so shift cos inverse so so we have shift and uh, cos inverse so we have 65 degrees so we have uh, px equals 65 degrees 54.5 minutes now in this case of course px is the polar distance so that is 90 minus the uh, 90 minus the uh, polar distance will give me the declination right so what will be declination declination is always the uh, angular distance from the equinoctial to the celestial body so that is qx here so qx is what i want now i know p to q is 90 degrees so p to q is 90 degrees because from the celestial pole to the equator will be 90 degrees so qx in this case would be 90 degrees minus px so we have 90 degrees minus 65 degrees 54.5 minutes correct so what do we have here 24 degrees 5.5 minutes 24 degrees 5.5 minutes and is it north or south now what is qx qx is nothing but the declination remember that right declination is like latitude of the celestial body so it's angular distance from the celestial equator now because x is north of the celestial equator celestial equator is q and x is north of it so we'll call it north all right so that is your uh, declination so one part is done of the geographical body so i have found out the latitude or the declination part of the geographical body now how do i find the uh, gha or the longitude or uh, of the celestial body so when i say gha we call it longitude like i explained before because uh, on the celestial sphere we can't have anything called longitude so what we have is the gha so what do we say is that we have the greenwich meridian g celestial greenwich meridian and we know the longitude of the body so i am here somewhere here this is me and what is my longitude my longitude was 22 degrees 20 minutes west so this angle here is 22 degrees 20 minutes west all right now what else do i know do i know my lha i know my lha because if i measure my uh, the angle the or the bearing of the celestial body westerly from my meridian to the observer's meridian that will be about 270 degrees because angle z is 90 degrees and the whole thing is 360 so i know that if i measure this angle here this will give me my lha lha is 270 degrees right so lh is nothing but measured angle measured westerly from the observer to the celestial body's meridian this will be here this will be x or the celestial body right and this angle here is 270 degrees all right so what is gha now gha is nothing but angle measured westerly from the celestial greenwich meridian to the meridian of the celestial body all right so this is uh, the gha this red angle is the gha all right so how much is this so if you think about it this is this much is 22 degrees plus 270 degrees from there is of course 292 degrees so gha is equal to 292 degrees 20 minutes correct because gha as you can see will be equal to uh, in this case of course it will be equal to longitude plus lha correct as you can see so we have 270 degrees plus 22 degrees 20 minutes that's why so i hope you understood this question correctly and there is no confusion regarding uh, calculation of geographical position if you still have questions or queries feel free to contact me uh, write it in the comment section i look forward to your feedback uh, so that i can help my future videos uh, all the best guys with your studies study